Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex here. And in today's video, I wanted to go through another uh, helpful strategy for Google Search Console. I was uh, playing around with it yesterday um, after the video I made uh, quite a bit and realizing just kind of how often I'm using this tool. And I wanted to share with you guys another just, I mean, honestly, effortlessly easy way to find those low hanging fruit keywords without using any regex or anything like that. Um, and how to just improve the uh, search engine ranking positions on your site. So this is a uh, just a weird little, you know, one of those AI content sites. I've got tons of these. This one just kind of has a little bit of tiny little bit of traction and I'm not gonna really pursue it that much, but it's just an easy way to show you guys how to find these keywords. So what's cool about Search Console is it just gives you a lot of, uh, or it doesn't give you that much, it just gives you some basic data uh, based on how your site is being found uh, by people making searches, right? So you got clicks, impressions, that's important. It's also cool is you have average position and then you have average CTR. So what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, so obviously when you land on your uh, Search Console page, it's gonna be this, uh, just click full report, uh, add CTR, you don't necessarily have to add CTR to start, uh, but also add average position. You can do last three months, but let's see, we can expand this. I'm not sure how long this site's been alive for. Um, yeah, so last six months of data, it's gonna give you a lot of data. Uh, the average position is pretty good. Um, average CTR is pretty good as well uh, for this kind of site. Basically, what, what you're gonna wanna do now is just scroll down, make this, let's say 100. And from here, you're gonna have to know the site quite well um, to see if it's relevant, uh, and if you're ranking for anything related to the query or not. But basically, what you're gonna wanna do you just want to start going through each of these keywords, right? Each of the top queries and looking at the impressions they're getting, the click-through rate, so the rate at which people are clicking through from search, uh, and then the position. So you can add filters, right? But what I like to do is go to the search terms that you actually haven't got any traffic for before worrying about the, the keywords that you're showing up for and getting traffic for, right? This is going to be like the ultra low-hanging fruit. So you scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, for us, this is going to be somewhere on page two. And then from here, it's sorted uh, by default by um, uh, by impressions. And then you've got click-through rates and then average position. And now right now, we can already see quite a few keywords where we are showing up, um, for example, you know, page four, five, and six, uh, even on second page for some of these, with a fair amount of impressions uh, and unfortunately, no clicks, zero click-through rate. Now what you want to do from here is what I like to do is actually open a search console window in a new tab. Um, so I can look at this at the data for this specific page or query. So from here, you're going to want to find a keyword that you kind of know you're not ranking that well for or that you have a page about, but maybe you're not targeting. And um, this one's pretty cool. All right. Quiet campground in Quebec City. There's no way I optimize the page for that. A uh, thousand impressions, right? or deep in the SERPs, uh, but if you take this query um, and you head back over to here, to your new window, uh, exact query, and then apply, and then that's interesting. Uh, and then if you just apply it last six months, so it's the same as we saw uh, in the old window, all right? You can see that it's this page, uh, Camping in Quebec Provincial Parks, which we'll look at right now. Um, and as you can see, this. This page is not really, it's not fantastic. It's very obviously AI, but I don't even know if you mentioned the word quiet. Yeah, so for example, right, we don't even mention the word quiet on this page. Uh, we are showing up. Google wants to show this page for that query, for that search. It knows it's relevant enough, uh, but from here, you can then actually add this keyword to the page. And if you head to Google and just search for quiet camp garden in Quebec City, what I like to do with this is to see if it's worth actually um, creating the content for, whether it's its own post, like whether you wanna have a post showing just quiet campgrounds in Quebec City, uh, Quebec City campgrounds, or if I can be adding, or if I can add it to my uh, camping in Quebec uh, provincial parks post. So right now what I can see is that it's kind of a blend of, the first result is camping in Quebec City, right? It's Quebec's, it's their own their own tourism site, right? The second one is KOA, third one is TripAdvisor, which is kind of a good sign. This is campsites near Quebec City. So from this result, you're gonna have to analyze each result. Uh, what I would do is instead of adding it to this, I would actually create a post 
camping in Quebec City or camping in and around Quebec City, right? Uh, and so just from there, you can see that there is some, um, there actually is actually a lot of demand for, I can look at this one, for example, right? Quebec City camping parks, right? Quebec City camping, 2K impressions, um, ranking quite well, even though on our actual page, do we even mention Quebec City? Yeah, we do mention it, but we don't mention any parks within Quebec City. So there's two things you can do here. Um, you can either mention just provincial parks within closer to Quebec City, have create a section, you know, uh, provincial parks or camping near Quebec City. Uh, or what I would do actually is create a whole new page, Quebec City camping, so that you can mention uh, all the Quebec City camping search terms uh, as opposed to just the provincial parks uh, Quebec wide. And now what you're going to want to do uh, is go through each of the keywords and just kind of find out which of them are the most relevant for you to improve. And for example, this one, Manitoba Provincial Park Pass, right? Uh, decent amount of impressions, um, zero, no one's picked it and we're on page two, right? We're on the very top of page two, almost on page one. I'm pretty sure I have a page uh, about the Manitoba Park Pass, right? So same thing, um, click on the exact query. Uh, you can see impressions have been kind of trending down, uh, a lot of updates in there as well. Uh, we do have the page, Manitoba Provincial Park Pass, and we should be able to quickly tell why this page isn't ranking. Um, so the page actually isn't terrible. Uh, it could just be like a site-wide issue, but in all fairness, uh, I don't think this post has anything, um, there's no internal links pointing to this post from any other page on the site. So all we have is external links. I don't even think we have any internal links pointing to any other pages on the site. Uh, and let's actually sign in and see, actually let's see what it looks like in the SERPs. Manitoba Provincial Park. Right, so Google, yeah, it does say Manitoba Provincial Park Pass, but the click, the um, actual SERP itself, the, uh, the snippet here, the meta description, it's not going to encourage anybody to click through. It is a bit outdated. I mean, it's from uh, last year already, a few months ago. So even there, right? Uh, just a few quick changes on this post um, could bump it up to the first page. And this is what you need to do going through each of these keywords. And actually what you can now do uh, here is remove the ex exact query, um, do queries containing and just hit Manitoba, right? So, a lot of impressions, a really great average position, right? Just hovering between page two and three, uh, a bit of a drop there after, which was probably can Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, and it is winter, right? So no one's really camping in January. Uh, but if we scroll down, um, no one's relevant, but if we scroll like the actual queries, right? I'm sure we are missing some of these uh, and there's 125 queries, right? So I'm sure we are missing some of these, that we can then add to the um, either the parks post, right? Manitoba Provincial Park Pass, or um, make our own, uh, make a page, right? For Manitoba Provincial Parks. Do I have a page for this? No. So right there, right? I don't have a page for Manitoba Provincial Parks. The only page on the side that mentions Manitoba is the Provincial Park Pass page. It's not really giving enough information to Google to rank uh, anything for this page. And it's just a lot of, uh, a lot of data you're missing out on. Um, to, uh, to be able to kind of boost your own pages, boost your own posts uh, within the SERPs and, uh, and at least send any indication to Google that your website is remotely relevant for uh, what you're trying to rank for. And again, you really just need to be going through all of these. Um, for this page alone, uh, I think I have uh, how much, I don't think I've mentioned permits. Um, Reservation dates, right? And if you click here, dates. Yeah, we don't even really mention reservation dates. And I mean, there's no images, there's just really nothing on this post. It looks okay just from the theme. But overall, this is uh, there's still a little bit of room for improvement for this post at all. Um, and even this is another great idea for a, uh, for a, a blog post, right? To then just kind of build that authority within that cluster of Manitoba Provincial Parks. And so yeah, this ended up being a little bit of a longer video. Uh, but this is a super great way, super easy way, especially if you have a huge, huge site, um, if you're doing SEO for a client, e-commerce, really anything, uh, to work through this, uh, the list of, um, of uh, this list of data, right, from Google Search Console.
And what's really cool is what you can do is you can filter, um, let's see, is greater than 10, right? So now you have all the pages, now you have it sorted by the um, actual search terms. And if you do that, or sort by average position, right? Now these are only the, the search terms that you're not showing up on page one for. Um, and again, you can go through and find the ones that have uh, a lot of impressions that you maybe are getting clicks from uh, and see, for example, why you're not ranking better, why you're stuck on page two for bus to Algonquin Park or whatever your keyword would be. And again, um, just scrolling through the ones that are gonna have high impressions, right? Algonquin Park, that's weird that I'd be on page two. It's probably an error. Uh, but as you can see, there's tons of data here to go through, tons of uh, data points that you can work with to improve your existing content and, and just snipe those, those quick wins. Uh, again, I apologize guys, it ended up being a longer video, um, but I love Search Console. If you're not using it for your SEO, um, you really need to be. Uh, this site is ranking like not terribly. So feel free to steal the idea. <laughs> uh, as always, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you, well, feel free to leave any comments, concerns, critiques, questions. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.